Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient who had a trauma on his nail when he was very young. The nail never grew back normally. He's been going to a nail salon to take care of this and he had a lot to say about his funny experiences at the nail salon. Let's see how I can help him. All right, ready? Okay. So we have a Rich here. Hi, Rich. How you doing? Hello. He's saying hi. Okay, so we got this thick nail. You've had this for a long time, huh? Yes, sir. And you remember what happened to this nail? Oh, you know what? You might have dropped something on no, it? No, when I was like uh, really young, uh -huh. I mean like uh, five years old, uh -huh. I was running in the driveway, uh -huh. and my dad used to make uh, oh, oh, sorry. Um, his own beer in the garage. Uh -huh. Oh, we did? Yeah. And what a had, guy. He had like... Uh, the machine? Oh well, yeah, but he had bottles. He had big bottles of uh, like quart bottles or half gallon bottles. Uh -huh. And I was running on the driveway with my sister uh -huh. and I kicked it. Oh really? With this toe? I think. Did it bleed? Looks like you traumatized this nail. But I mean, it was like a long time ago. Right. But I think my toe was always split and always been split. You mean this one? The nail, I mean. Right, this one. I think that one. Yeah. Do you remember going black and black and blue on this nail or no? Yeah. It's too long ago. I mean, I was five years old. Yeah, you're five years I remember, old. But I, but I remember it, you know. You remember kicking it? Yeah. Wow. So this could be it. Cause this looks like you dropped something or you kicked mm -hmm. something or something dramatic happened to this nail, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so grind it down and we'll see the problem with this is that if you're traumatized, then you might have damaged the nail bed. And then no matter what we do, the nail may not grow normally. It's gonna look probably a little bit better, but it's probably not gonna be normal looking. You know what I mean? I've That's... never been able to really cut that nail down. Yeah. Oh, I see. So we're gonna keep cutting it down to almost nothing, and then we put the medicine so that we'll, we'll hopefully we'll get the new nail to grow. The problem is, obviously, if the nail bed is damaged, then, then it won't grow the normal looking nail. I will find out. Okay. But we won't know for a while. But we'll keep working on it. Is that hurting? No. It's a little awkward, but no. So you, that was making the beer because he, he, likes, the, he likes the beer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that way back when. He must really like it. Well, he's passed away now, so he's okay. Do you, do you drink beer every day? Oh, uh, pretty much. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. so did you like, did you, did you ever drink his beer? No, I don't think I ever, I probably did, but I can't remember. Really? He never offered to you? He yes, drank on his own? Yeah. By himself? I didn't know you could make beer at, at your house. Yeah, that was way what? back when. Uh -huh. But is this yeah. like a big production? Not really, just you know, just just for himself, and he had some friends. But mm -hmm. so. I like to be his friend. <laughs> you got the beer bong everywhere you go, right? Yeah. And he always had his friends over. Uh huh. Yeah. Is that is that is that hurting? No, not yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna get it down. I'm gonna grind it all down, okay? okay? So make it look good. And then we'll send all the samples to uh, laboratory to analyze. You're getting down. It hadn't been this low since probably forever. Really? I'd say 10 years, but nah. No, but you, you would go to the nail salon, right? You said? Yeah, and but then I don't do it this well. No? This no? no? I'm gonna get it down even further. I'm gonna get it almost to like flat. Okay, we're gonna grind it all down so that it's mm -hmm. it's nice and flat. They would uh, use this little like like sandpaper sandpaper flats and, and you know and sand it down. Oh it's right. Flat, so they would help, I guess, probably the fungus somewhat, you know. But they don't they don't use any machine or anything. Mm, yes, they would. They would use a um, like a oh sorry like a grinder. Like a grinder. No, I see. Just to get the top of the nail. Mm hmm And the grinder. Where they could grind it off. How often do you used to go? Uh, about once every three to six months. Oh, really? Wow. I used to like to get the 
the leg treatment too, like the, the massage. The massage, right? Oh. oh. Right. You want a little, a little massage after? <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually sure. do that. I don't yeah. usually do that service, but but. Okay, yeah. you could film that one too. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Sorry, I was just joking. I don't do that service. I, I figured that. Yeah. yeah. Should I? <laughs> <laughs> like a massage envy or something. Right. Re rename your. Rename the place, right? Yeah. Cut and massage or something like that, right? Cut and massage. Yeah. So how how long would would it take? I've never been to a nail salon myself, so yeah. I don't know. I don't know how no, that goes. My wife, my granddaughter, all, they all go. So. Do you go with them or do you go by yourself? Uh, I used to go with my wife. Yeah, really? and then you're sitting in one chair and she's on the other. Yeah, I watch TV. Yeah, but they're usually all ladies, though, right? Usually, but there'll be some guys in there. Oh, some guys in there too. Yeah. Oh, but so you, you can see, it's, it's like, especially you get older, and it's hard to get down and catch your nails. I know. You know, I can do my hands, but. They're, there's some places that the, only the guys go. Really? Yeah. It's like Smoke looks like a. And yeah, it looks like a sports bar. You know, they they have a big TV and. Oh, I, I've never heard of it. Yeah, there there's some people doing that. I thought that was a good idea because you know a lot of guys kind of feel left out, right? When you go to these nail salons, it's all ladies, you know. Well, the thing is, the tone is what a lot of guys like mine. Yeah. Because they can't get to them and they ignore them. And... Yeah. I understand that's what happens. But you gotta you gotta keep going. You gotta go like I think the ladies go like every month. Don't yeah, they? They, yeah, yeah. They uh, paint it, they well, I don't want my paint it. <laughs> they 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 clear coat. Right. Well they, they, they call it buffing. It's called buffing. Uh -huh. They use this thing to really grind it down and make it shiny, but they don't have to put anything on it. Mm called buffing which looks actually pretty good it looks like you have something on it it's, mm. makes it shiny I don't know what shiny nails either no but make it look nice so I gotta stop eating sugar huh yeah no gotta... desserts no bread no pasta well no, you know it's, it, it's hard to quit all of it so I usually recommend if you're eating a lot of sugar right now then then I recommend um, two cheat days a week. Oh, two, oh, cheat days. Cheat days, you can cheat, you know, freely without guilt okay. to start. And then your goal, your goal would be like, cold yeah, one, no, it's hard to go cold turkey, you know, I, even What's me. Like bread? Can you eat sourdough? How about sourdough bread? That's worse, yeah. <laughs> Hi, it's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the war, nail salons in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Was better than other breads. Uh, so, not, not, not for fungus. Oh. Not, not for fungus. But all breads not for good for fungus. I don't but. have sodas. I oh, like you? desserts. I like bread. Uh -huh. I like pasta. Oh, you like all that, huh? Yeah. So you would only eat those on a cheat day, or like like pick your days, right? Yeah. Pick your days would be like Wednesday or Saturday. You know, my my cheat days is, is Saturday. I would have um. I would have in and out, you know. Right. I would have um, some pizza here and there, you know. So, so that's that's what I recommend. And then, you, if you're brave enough, after a while, you get used to it. Then you go to one day a week. Oh. Yeah. And then now you're talking, you know. And then after a while, believe it or not, you get used to not eating sugar. Then you don't feel good sugar eating a lot of sugar. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you want to get to. It may take some time, but I think that's that's more reasonable way to cut out all the bad stuff, you know. Yeah. But I, know. I, I yeah, but the all the drinks are the worst, you know, the soft drinks. All the you know. I don't usually have soft drinks. No, like sport drinks, soft drinks, sport drinks, the energy drinks. Yeah. I think mean, those those gotta go first because they're they're just you're just drinking sure. pure sugar water, you know. So you want to avoid that, and then you protein, protein drink good. Yeah, you, you do you do a protein drink? Uh, every now and then I do that. Uh, 
protein. Yeah, proteins usually don't have a lot of sugar. Unless some proteins like mixed with some uh, like a uh, fruit, you know, to make it taste better because protein powders are very dry and taste terrible, you know. Yeah. So. And what else is that you need to put, you think? After looking at my list. Yeah, well, the food stuck out right away. The food, huh? <laughs> all the desserts. You like desserts? Yeah, but yeah, it's all bad. So it's like, it should be cutting back. Yeah, you it should, should just... Cutting back. Yeah, cutting back. Just do it two days a week. Uh-huh. First, and then if you... After a while, you get used to it, then go one day a week, you know? And then, uh, and then you'd be like me. Once you just get dessert once in a blue moon, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. So how about the food, the gut, the gut health, the supplements? Uh-huh. Uh huh. I think uh, I take collagen. Oh, you do? Okay. I take the collagen. That's now. very good. Uh, vitamin D. I think I take the vitamin D too. You do? Yeah, vitamin D very important for the immune system. Yeah. Well, it's like the sunlight, huh? Yeah, sunlight, but we're, we're in a pretty far away from the equator. Our sun exposure is usually not enough, you know? So I highly recommend getting, taking vitamin D. You, you have to check the vitamin D level. Ask your doctor because it's not on the regular chemistry panel. So you have to specifically ask, ask I want the vitamin D tested. And they'll test it, and that's a very important test because without vitamin D high enough, then it can cause all, all kinds of immune system problems with infections and cancer and all kinds of big problems with the vitamin D. So you want to test that. I'll, re I'll recommend some supplements other than collagen, like omega-3s and uh, biotin. Biotin is the material that uh, is on the nail, the shiny part of the nail. So uh -huh. that's, that's why you have to take as well, additionally. It's the vitamin B7. Vitamin B, 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 B as in boy. Oh, B7. Yeah. I think uh, a multi is B. Oh, okay. So it could be in there. And if that's not enough, then you may have to take some extra because we're trying to grow some new nails, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. How do you like that so far? That's okay. Good. Yeah? Oh. Yeah, it's cooling as I'm cleaning because it gets pretty hot, you know? Yeah, so highly recommend for the collagen. You can take the collagen pills, but uh, I recommend eating bone broth soup, like a chicken soup, beef, beef soup, you know, the soup. When you boil all this uh, bone stock, all the collagen and minerals come out. So that's what I recommend. You do that as often as you can, because it's really good for your skin and it grows your nail and it heals your gut, gut lining, you know. Yeah. So, Wow. Yeah. So, so how do you have it? Do you have, do you have like a soup or? Yeah, make a soup, like you get any kind of bone stock and then you put it in there and then you boil it for 68 hours. You put all kinds of spices in it, whatever you like. Uh -huh. And there are all the recipes on YouTube, so you can kind of look it up and pick the one you like. And then what I usually do is I cook the big pot and then put it in a small Ziploc bag, each, each serving and put them in the freezer. Wow. And then when I'm ready to eat it, take it out and you boil it again and you're ready to go, you see? That's my little bone broth secret. It's the number one weight loss, weight loss thing you can do. Eat more bone broth too, bone heal broth, the gut. Huh? And when you heal the gut and all the good bacteria will be able to live there and then they will help you with the weight loss and you know, your immune system as well. So I highly recommend that. That's not on here, though, huh? It's on, it's on, it's on my video. It's on the video? Okay. Yeah, it's on the video. So I explain all of that on the video. So you can watch that. Okay. I'm on my, my list of, of medications. I get my supplements in there. Yeah. What are you taking right now? I'm trying to find my list. Oh, you're trying to find I'm your trying list. i to get it right. Yeah. Okay, it looks pretty good. Very good. Oh, here ah. it is. 
Oh, you have it. Here's a supplement. Uh -huh. Arginine. What is it? Arginine and arginine. Uh huh. A R G I N I N E. Arginine. Arginine. Uh huh. That's for circulation. Okay. Well, that's yeah. that's why I'm on the green. Okay. And the glucosamine. The glucosamine for your joint. Uh-huh. The glycogen for joint. Uh-huh. D-complex caps. Uh-huh. Uh, coenzyme Q10. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's for cholesterol medicine. And I got, okay, there I got uh, D3. D3, okay. Very good. D3. And I take turmeric. Uh, turmeric, okay. I okay. take zinc. You're taking all the good stuff. I take vitamin C. Okay. And I take collagen type 2. Oh, wow. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, you're well on your way. We're going to take these samples and then we'll find out what kind of fungus you have, okay? Well, that feels Very good, good Steve. All yeah, right. This even feels better than the, the nail salon. salon. Oh, really? I know. Wow, thank you. <laughs> That's how good it is. Thank you. So what do I do now? Just go home and start doing something? Thank you for watching this video. As you can see in this video, sometimes the nail salons may not be able to cut these deformed thick nails. This requires better tools to take care of the, these thick nails, and sometimes you have to go see a doctor to take care of these. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.